Hey y'all, John here. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about my video workflow on the A7 IV. So I'll give you guys a little bit of a story time here. Uh, when I had a Mac, I actually used to use Final Cut Pro. I love that software, it works really well, but ever since I moved to a PC, I had to get some new software. So it's either I use Premiere Pro, which I've also used, um, but I don't wanna, don't wanna pay the subscription fee, or I go with, uh, let's say, DaVinci Resolve. So I have the free version of that, it works really well, but it does not support the XAVCS files on the A7 IV. I'm recording in the HS codec. Um, I have people on the Mac that are saying that it works just fine for them. So I'm not sure if it's an APX, APX no, what's it, what's it called? HEVC licensing problem um, that's stopping Resolve Free from doing it. But I'm gonna show you how I transcode all the footage that I record on my 74 into Handbrake, into an intermediate codec so I can edit that and then transfer that. The only downside with this problem is that it takes time. Um, and it takes up a lot of space. So a 13 gig file on your A7 IV can blow up to like, let's say 100 gigs. But um, let's get this started. I'm also probably gonna buy Resolve Studio anyways, and then I'll show you guys uh, whether it works or not in the studio version. But let's move over to my desk and we'll get started with this video. All right, welcome to my desktop. So let's get this file transferred from the A7 IV. Um, we're gonna get the most recent file that I just recorded right now and we're gonna make a new directory on my desktop just so I can keep things organized. So let's go through that. We're gonna make a new folder. Let's get that all typed in here. And we're gonna make a folder just for the original files. Perfect. We're gonna get that copied and we'll give it a second and be right back. All right, now that we have that copy, we're going to open up DaVinci Resolve. I'm going to show you the problem that I keep running into. So let's get this all loaded here. I'm in real time, of course. Give it a second. We're going to make a new project. I'll type that in. I always have some difficulty naming these projects. All right. Here we go. We got that. We're going to modify our project settings. DaVinci Resolve is always funny with these. So we are importing 4K footage at 23,976, I think. That is the um, cinema frame rate, quote unquote. So we're going to save that. And then now we are going to drop in that footage straight from the A7 IV. And boom, it looks just like an audio file. So that's fun, right? Um, that is not what well, we recorded for sure. So I'm just going to show you guys um, in VLC. So VLC doesn't like these files either for some reason. And it's just playing audio right now. So you guys will be able to hear it. That's to show you that it is in fact a video file. So 3040 by 2160. It has audio obviously. Um, but no dice there. So we're going to hop into Handbrake. And I'm going to show you guys my configuration for that. So first, you wanna do, uh, first thing you want to do is drag your your file from your 7 4 or whatever Sony camera you have into Handbrake, let it scan through it. So as you can see, that is definitely a video clip of me. Um, but I'm going to switch to the Production Max um, preset here, and I'm going to show you some things about encoding. So if you have an 8th gen Intel processor or newer uh, that has an integrated graphics card, you have something that would be called QuickSync. Um, QuickSync is looked at as basically a media encoder, the same way Apple has encoders in their A and now M series chips on their Macs and iPhones, iPads, whatever. Um, and then you have encoders in your GPU. So I have a 12700K, so I have QuickSync, and I have an AMD GPU that is new enough to support HEVC natively and do decoding. Um, just showing you my specs here, um, but let's hop back into Handbrake. All right, so now I'm gonna be selecting my AMD GPU as the encoder. As you can see, I have QSV and I have VCE. AMD VCE is basically the GPU and the standard encoding profile is to go with the CPU and stress that out, but that is the slowest out of all. Some people are saying that is the highest quality, um, but I can't tell a difference. So I'm just gonna stick with my GPU for basically getting this video transcoded. So let's wait for that. I'm gonna wait for it to hop through that and we'll go from there.
Alrighty, welcome back. That video took three minutes in real time to encode. We're gonna move it from the movies uh, video folder to our transcoded and drag it into DaVinci Resolve. And there she is. As you can see, the video file that we transcoded is successfully playing in DaVinci Resolve, the free version. Um, now, for me, I feel like if I'm transcoding like 50 plus video files, which I have had to do, it takes way too long for me. So I'm gonna be testing this on the studio version and we're gonna see how that goes. So I'll be right back when I buy the studio. Alrighty, we are back at it again. Now we just have to wait for Resolve Studio to load. Um, we're gonna open up the same project, upgrade that of course, and now we have to remove that video file and re-add it. So let's get that out of there and re-import the original footage, not the transcoded one, just to see if this will work. And it looks like it popped up. So let's double click that file just to make sure. And it's playing, that is the native one. So let's go into our file properties in DaVinci and it's definitely a H.265 10-bit file straight from the A74. I know that the handbrake file is an H.264 file. So uh, let's just double check that by verifying and it still doesn't play in VLC. So again, there are your confirmations that that is the file straight from the A74. Um, thanks again for watching. Please stay tuned for, no, for more content. I hope this helps you with you guys that are shooting on Sony cameras that are not supported, at least on the Windows side. And we'll go from there.